Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are basically going to look at how you can transform a melody using some very, very simple steps which most pianists pretty much do and try to transform it and go as far as we can, uh, understanding that it's not going to be that advanced. It's going to be very playable and I'm going to take it through with a simple melody, a really, really simple melody which you heard in the introduction video. So you're going to play that video along with me and then we are going to slowly embellish it, add some harmony, add some flavor in the right hand, develop some left hand rhythm patterns. And uh, what you're also going to learn is what to do when a song is three by four. This is something which I find lacking, especially in the YouTube space where everyone who teaches music, including me, we tend to talk about everything on a four beat per bar kind of system, four by four or that sort of a thing, but uh, or even six by eight. But three by four is a very interesting time signature, very common time signature. We also call it waltz. So let's see how we can go by through the lesson. Now, the first thing we are going to do is learn the melody. All of this stuff will be notated for you on our uh, Patreon page. You can also see it in the video as well easily. But if you'd like to download it and uh, support the channel, you'll have not only the notation, also the notes, the everything revised and waiting for you there for this one as well as stuff in the past as well and in the future. So we'll first learn the tune, we'll look at some backing left hand chords, then the rhythm patterns will come through in the left hand and finally we'll organically add all sorts of color in the right hand. And I told you it's going to help you play 3 by 4 it's also going to help you to understand a few embellishments for a melody for multiple genres. I'm going to try and teach you some gospel stuff, some country stuff, some classical stuff, some folk tricks just to just to make the melody a little bit more or a lot more spicy. Uh, you know, as we like it in India. So what's very important is you learn the tune, you get the hand coordination, go step by step in the video and don't forget to watch till the very end because everything is important and it will give you a solid amount of practice, right? Before we get cracking, it'll be great if you can hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for no uh, regular notifications and that's about it. Let's start. Let's learn the tune first. The tune, I'm playing it around middle C and I'm on the key of G major. One sharp, F sharp. So the tune is basically on 3-4. This is how it sounds. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. So as you can see, it's pretty much on the beat, but there are one or two sub beats. Let's try and navigate that. One, two, three, one. So that, that was the off beat, right? One and two and three and. At the end of the three. One and two and three and one and two and three and. And then the second bar, you just hold that E very, very long. So... One and two and three and one and two and again cut one and two and three and one and two and pretty similar so one and two and three and one and two and three one and two and three and one and two three again let's do that one and two and three and one and two Three, one and two and three and one. This is what I want to do. One and two and three and one and. And the second line is pretty much the same as the first line. One and two and three and one and two and now. One and two and three and one and two. So E F sharp G G. Whole thing again. G F sharp D E. E D A B D G F sharp D E E F sharp G G You don't have to rely on the notation and all that stuff so much. Should also encourage you. I would. I always encourage you to use your ear. You know, you can watch me, hear me, see the notation, but the hearing part is the most important. 
So now let's try and figure out what's the bare minimum possibility for the left hand. Let's take the fifth chord, which I think you may already know. The root, the fifth and the octave. Let's start with that and let's get cracking. And we are doing it in a waltz, so one, two, three, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two. Keep that pumping. You could even count. One, two, three. And now we start. Don't worry too much about your fingers. As long as you start with your pinky, I think if you start with the pinky, it'll all work out. Two, three, two, three, two, three, three, two, three, one, two, three, one. Now, if, just watch out for the independence. One, two, three. You don't want to do the D at the three. One, two, three, and. Remember, hit the D at the end of the three. That's important. One and two and three and. Okay. One and two and three and one, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and three. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three. There we go. Try to also sing it as you go. Let's make the left hand a bit more spicy now by adding chords. So you go simple chords. So G fifth, C major, just normal default vanilla C major, C E G. Then that's like a D major without the five. I'm just bringing the five or retaining the G. So creates a nice add four feel. So. Because anyway, the 5 will come. So I'm just clinging on to D, F sharp, G. So the voicings of the chords are da, na, 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 C major, na, na, D, add 4, na, 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 G, D, G, na, 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 C major, na, 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 with the tune and playing the left hand in the waltz style. So. One more time. Climbing. So the chords are quite nice now, isn't it? This is just your left hand. But you could also sing the tune and only play the left hand. So with the melody relax try to stay relaxed but the funny part while I say that is to be relaxed on the piano you need to practice so no amount of you can't just say oh I'm going to relax and play this it's not going to work out when you're not sure about your parts one suggestion I have if you're not getting the hand coordination going is practice as much as you can for about 15 to 20 minutes or maybe half an hour and then when your brain which eventually will start getting fried up because it can't handle so much information uh, with your conscious brain is just stop playing or move to something else or just do something else and uh, don't forget to try it the very next morning which I think can really be beneficial to you okay so practice do your thing practice as hard as you can sweat it out as they say stop 
sleep, come back, but try it again. It's always important to try this again. And you will get it definitely in the morning. It's sort of like studying for an exam. You want to revise it again the next morning always. So let's see this whole deal again before we move on. Play, play it along with me. Let me try it again. Little slow. One, two, three. One. One. Okay, now let's make the left hand and the right hand more fancy. One thing which I like to do is just add a few extra ingredients in the left hand. One extra ingredient I think I have for you would be that one. So G fifth and you do instead of going to C directly G D G B C E G G, D, G, B, C. One more time. Yeah. That's one nice ingredient. D. Okay, now, making the left hand a bit more rhythmically interesting can happen if you just start adding in some eighth note. So, the default was one, two, three. What if we start saying one and two and three and, and let's see how that goes. One and two and three and one and this automatically sounds a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Three and one, two. If you want, if you're getting a bit confused with the two hands a bit congested, play it a bit higher. the B there. So what's actually happening there is we are adding double of the available set of notes. So one and two and three and one and remember it's on a three. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and two, three, one, two, three. So that's the first thing you should try to do. So the original was... Okay, and now we are adding that eighth note. Now you can make these eighth notes sound a little bit more interesting as well by not doing in a machine gun like environment like da 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 one and two and three and so instead of that you can do. One and two and three. One and two and three. So how will that sound? One and two and three. G, D, G, D, B, C, D, G. So that makes it a bit more interesting rhythmically. It's not... Little bit more of your independence workout because this is a slightly different rhythm. So maybe a bit eas easier. Break one, two, and three, and two, and pause. So like this, you can have the other left hand rhythms through the binary permutations of playing double or playing single. You know, you can go uh, this one. So long at the beginning and then uh, four quavers or eighth notes. Let's see if we can get that with the melody.
There's one more binary idea remaining. No, there's um, the long uh, crotchet or quarter note in the middle. So. everything creates some grooves okay so that's pretty much about what i have for you in the left hand for this lesson uh, just to kind of uh, uh, put the icing on the cake if you will in the right hand what you can try and do is embellish the melody now there are many ways to embellish a melody i've done so many lessons there's you can check them out on our youtube channel how to embellish and ornament a melody um i always tend to use a melody which i compose as an example and then we kind of bring out all the flavors so even with this you can do a similar thing the first thing i'd like to explain to you is stacking of notes now the piano doesn't sound as big or as dense harmonically as you know other instruments like a saxophone where the harmonic content or the number of overtones are very very thick they make the instrument so dense uh, and also instruments like violin man you can slide stuff you can glide you can do a vibrato guitar players have hammer ons pull offs the list goes on right uh, imagine what a veena player or a sitar player can do so piano is almost like at the end of the food chain in terms of uh ability to play melody because you can either just play something or not play it or play it soft or play it loud you don't have this gliding and sliding and increasing volume over time kind of a thing the note just just dying a natural death so what we can do is a few tricks which i think you have to figure out along your way through this melody and then through some other melodies as well so the first thing i do is note stacking so you could go something like stuff like that so so at the starting beat or at the first beat I'm actually trying to stack something. What am I stacking? First I'm stacking a D, which is a fifth, so it stacks up well. Now I'm stacking a C because anyway it's part of the C major chord. I like that. And then no need of stacking because the melodies are closer. So what am I doing again? Stay on C. another stacking possibility could be you could do b c a b b so what were the options d c c b of course b the ending you don't stack anything it's just played as a melody second stacking idea b c very choral i like that okay then a few things here and there you which you may like one could be i like that that glide almost like a hammer on for a guitar you can do you can even couple it with something gospel you can do that so then actually the gospel thing works better for the next one which is it's actually a weird minor third but it works well if you use it tastefully right just a passing mention one more time i like that very country so this was gospel country so
and you can do these trills or these embellishments with the, uh, uh, the the stack of notes you can do that as well see see i like that there and then you can end there oblique motion where the the soprano or the melody stays its ground and the other part comes down so let's just recap what we've done guys and that's pretty much the lesson so what did we do first we learned the melody starting with a simple left hand uh, fifth chord backing with just single chord first till you get the coordination then the actual chords g major c major with an arpeggio with this simple one up top l m h low middle high with some passing bass then the more interesting eighth note patterns melodic ornamentations or embellishments in the right hand yeah and these melodic ornamentations or anything you you need to really feel this when you play it you know sometimes you see me making some really strange faces on you know pretty much almost every single youtube video that's how it is i mean that's what comes to me most naturally i don't even know what i do to be honest with my face or any expression but it works and uh, you should just let yourself loose and whatever comes to you naturally is um, is going to definitely help you so keep your keep your mind very free and keep that energy when you play then the expression and the emotion will always come come through don't try to keep it very serious uh, be a bit playful about the whole process it's okay to fail it's okay to make errors that's the whole point of it and uh, practice and keep repeating the process day after day and uh, give yourself a challenge to get this 3 by 4 melody and then well you can do so many things with this you can do pretty much any other 3 by 4 song like maybe or maybe another 3 by 4 melody with all the expression try to play happy birthday like that at some point for your friend and let me know how it goes right guys again uh, thanks for all your suggestions this is pretty much what you people have been suggesting all of our loyal subscribers i've been going through your comments in detail so uh, do continue to leave us a comment with anything you'd like to learn uh, share the lessons with your musician friends or anyone you you think would be interested in music it could be a family member as well You could also head over to nathanielschool.com for more regular lessons, more structured, detailed lessons all the way from ground zero on the piano and whichever instrument we teach. You can also reach us through uh, through a form and uh, we'll customize something for you. There are also videos on YouTube. You just have to hit the join button or on our Nathaniel website. Thanks again for watching the lesson do subscribe if possible hit that bell icon for notifications check us out on patreon and i will catch you in the next one thanks again cheers